Hello everyone! I'm back with my face! <laughs> um, I know the last, uh, I think, three, the past three videos that I just recently uploaded very quickly, which is very unusual of me, um, were faceless videos and I was giving that a try and I felt like it was a success. You know, it definitely helped me upload videos a lot faster compared to me not uploading ever. <laughs> taking forever almost and so I don't know if you guys enjoyed that but uh, time to time I will be uploading that way so I can uh, you know focus on certain products and whatnot but uh, let's move on to the video for today it's going to be focusing on the CVS beauty clearance uh, purchase that I made about a couple weeks ago I believe the, uh, the sale is still going on but be sure to check um, some stores are not marked down, like the one locally near me did not have the stickers. Actually, they didn't have stickers on anything, I believe. And so they're a little behind on a lot of stuff when they have new products um, on display, they don't get it. And so I have to go hunt around different CVS, which I am very lucky to have two or three more that's very conveniently located within 10 minutes. Um, so anyways, uh, they were about 50 to 75% off as usual on um, the retail price. And you can also check, um, a lot of websites have like a little uh, beauty list of what's on sale and you can check on the red coupon machine to see if they are marked down or not just in case because surprisingly some products are not marked down and you, you know, check and you know, sometimes you're like, wow, it's a lot cheaper than I expected and maybe it was a product that you needed to get anyways. So the first product that I wanted to, uh, not I wanted to, that I did get is the um, Revlon Matte Eyeshadow. Looks like that. And this was 75% off. And this is in the color Peach Sorbet. And this is like a matte um, ivory. Oops. It's a matte ivory shade with a little bit of, I guess, like a peachy undertone. Can't really tell with this lighting. But it's looked... Um, I mean, pretty much it's it's ivory, but you know, it just has a little more of a pinky undertone. Here's a swatch of that. Extremely pigmented, very very velvety soft. I own only one other shadow from the Revlon Matte Single Shadow like this, and it's actually another vanilla shade like this. But this this one, obviously, like I mentioned, has a pink undertone. Um, so it looks like that when you swatch it. If you can't tell very very pigmented so I'm very impressed with this formula so I knew even though it's cheap uh, if it's not worth the product I'm not gonna buy it and this is something I knew I could always use because it's a great highlighting shade um, you know you could use it on your inner eye this was only let's see how much it was a dollar thirty seven so that is extremely cheap um, the next one that I got was um, another Revlon product and this is the color the color burst lip gloss which is my first color burst lip gloss purchase and this is in the shade rose gold and this was also 75% off as you can tell by the orange uh, sticker and this is actually a really pretty shade I actually saw this on a video on Emily Caroline's video um, I will link her YouTube channel below um, she mentioned that she got this on sale and I was really surprised how pretty the shade was and this was the only shade on Clarence and it makes me think, you know, usually the ones that go on clearance are usually being discontinued or they're just so ugly or something. But this was actually a very, like, a nice neutral rose gold shade. Literally, like it says, rose gold. It's like a nice light rosy peachy color with a little bit of, like, golden shimmers to it. So I feel like this would look great on anybody. Very natural. I mean, it's, you know, it's not sheer. There's a lot of good, you know, pigment to it. But, um... I think this will look great on any skin tone, honestly. And so, scent-wise, it's not really too strong. It's nothing, you know, where it's disgusting. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not much of a scent. And um, here is what the lip gloss wand looks like. There's a side view, which is really nice. And this was also extremely cheap. This came out to only $2.07, so that's a really great deal on that. Um, and then the next one are Maybelline products. I have been currently using it, so I tore up the packaging. So let me show you what it looks like. It looked like this once. <laughs> and they were 50% off. One was the Maybelline Lash Stiletto, and the other one was the Maybelline Volume Express, one by one. 
And these are obviously both waterproof. I'm not too big on mascaras, but lately I have been really, really big on mascara. Um, I think more and more I'm getting very uncomfortable wearing false lashes, especially if they're not those invisible uh, invisible bands or very thin and lightweight. It just feels heavy and I don't really go anywhere besides the gym and I just wear very, very light application um, with a waterproof mascara. And waterproof formula is the only thing that will hold my curls um, on my stupid Asian lashes that loves to just droop back down. And so the fact that they were waterproof on clearance, um, I didn't hear any reviews on this, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, the Maybelline, um, here it is, the one by one, this, here's what the bottle looks like. Um, this is in the color very black and this is what the wand looks like. It's that typical, like that rubber bristle. And as you can tell, it's very, very spiky. You see how fine it is? So like it says, it's supposed to pick up every lash one by one. And it really does do its job, like it mentioned. Um, what I really like about this is once you pull it out, it really doesn't leave all that gunk of mascara that comes out in certain mascara um, products. Um, it's really nicely fitted in there. And so I don't know what you would call that, but it comes out very clean. So you don't have to worry about the excess, like, you know, getting all over. Um, and I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I have it curled. And it, it does a really great job of separating. Um, it doesn't flake and um, lengthening. It does a pretty good job. The other one does a lot better, which I'm going to uh, show you in a minute. Um, so overall, I like it. I think volumizing, it does really great. Lengthening, not as great as a stiletto. So... It is a pretty great mascara. The fact that it's waterproof, I do approve of it because you know you can wear it, hold your uh, and it'll hold your curls for a very long time. And so um, this was also an extremely great deal. Um, this came out to three seventy five. So how about that? And I'll I'll tell you about how I did all this couponing at the end. Everything I got came out to like extremely cheap. It's like an, an amazing deal. And so I'm going to show you everything at the end and the proof that I really, really did get it on that deal. The next one is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. And here's what that looks like. And this is also a waterproof formula. And this is actually in the shade of brownish black, which it's not... It's not brown at all. I mean, I've worn this so many times and it's still black, but I think it's a little less uh, rich. I mean, it's a little less black than the typical, like, you know, black or the very black or carbon black mascaras. So I feel like it's a little more natural feel to it, I guess, because it's a little brown mixed with it. Um, at first, I pretty much after I bought all these, I did go on Google and try to see reviews to see which one was better. And the one by one actually had better reviews compared to this one. But the funny thing is when I tried this, I was more in love with this because it really worked for my lashes a lot better than the other one. And I think it was all mainly due to how the brush wand looks like and how it's shaped. So this also does not come out too gunky. Um, and that is what the mascara wand looks like. It's a cone shape. It's very thin at the one end and a little thicker at the other end. Very, very spiky. It does slightly remind me of the Lancome Hypnose Drama Waterproof Mascara. Yes, <laughs> I was going to get that, um, but I held off because I was trying out other products. So due to this brush wand being a little thinner at the end and water at the end, it gets every little lash especially on the outer corner that you can't get that's just stuck in there. The one by one does not really reach to that because the brush wand is so fat. This one actually grabs every little hair. It separates. Um, I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but it gives me these like spidery lashes, but not in a vet, not in a bad way. I don't know how I would say it to make it sound in a good way, but it separates, but it really gives me that va va voom lashes. And so um, lengthening, this does hundred thousand times better than that. It's not too much difference, but when I get this lash, uh, this mascara on, I feel like I have on falsies and it, it's really hard to find mascara that does that to my lashes because my lashes are not too, you know, full and long as it used to be. And so that's why I'm usually big on false lashes and I use only, um, mascara for my lower lashes. And so this works for both. And also, like I mentioned, it's waterproof. So it holds my curl. 
Uh, it lasts a long time. This one tends to flake a little more than the other one, but it's not to a point where it's like leaving black, you know, little flakes all over your face. So it's not extreme. Um, this also was actually a little, um, a great deal, a little more than the other one. This was $4.99, which is not bad. Um, and so those two are the mascaras that I got from Maybelline. The next two products are from Essence of Beauty. And these are, um, let's see, 75% off. And I got these eyelash curler refills. As you can see, I already opened one and um, I actually inserted into my shoe eyelash curler because they actually do not sell refills, only the one refill pad that comes in the package. So um, I have two of the eyelash curlers and one of them was going really bad. And so I thought I'd just give this a try. I mean, it doesn't hurt because it was so cheap. Um, I felt like if I stuck it in there and you know, if it doesn't work, it's so cheap that, you know, I could toss it and not feel bad. But it works. I mean, it's not as good as the original shoe uh, refill pads, but it comes with five. And these were only, how much were they? 64 cents. So very, very good deal. So if you're looking for a great, uh, cheap alternative eyelash curler refills, um, go check out your CVS and hope they still have these. And you get five. Uh, I think you get three of the blacks and then two of the whites. They look like that. And the black ones are a little thicker than the white ones. Uh, the next one is this Smoky Eyeshadow Dual Ended Brush by Essence of Beauty. I love the brushes. Um, I own a set that I got a long time ago, which is still in great condition, very soft. I highly recommend it for considering a drugstore uh, makeup brush brand. Um, this one is, let me see, it's a little like, it's really fat, so sometimes people might be confused, like what would I use this on? Um, here is one end. This is like the eye shader brush side. So compared to like, my finger, as you can see, it's really big. So if you were to use it on your eye, I could, I don't know, it's just really big. I mean, my eyes are not that big. This would be great for someone with bigger eyelids for like a, you know, base shade or I don't know, like highlight, but um, I can see myself using this maybe like, you know, like in this kind of area for highlighting because it is a little bigger. It's a very wide eyeshadow, like it says here on the brush. And the other end is, like a pencil, um, pointy creased, pointed crease brush. And as you can see, it is very fat and chunky. And this as well would work so much better if you had huge eyelids and huge eyes and um, you know, you could work it in. But you know, it's not that big where you can't use it, but let me show you compared to like a standard pencil brush. Um, it's a little dirty, so I apologize for that. So here's your like standard pencil brush size and then that's the size from the CVS so it's a lot thicker but um, I think it's great for blending because it is so fat it's great to just smudge on the outer V or you know wherever you like to use it um, this also was just really really cheap it was only $1.75 so that was an amazing deal um, so that was pretty much all the makeup um, and I made another trip uh, separately and I ended up getting this clear uh, travel sized bag. And this was, I think, about $5 and some change. Um, I think this was 50% off and it comes with two travel sized bottles that you can fill in and then like a little sponge. Um, I mainly got this not for traveling. It's um, mainly for my makeup kit. So I can see the products when I pack it. Um, so when I'm you know, doing makeup on my client, I can easily find products without having to dig. So that was actually right great 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 deal um so let me complete this video by showing you how i got all these deals for an amazing price excluding that bag um all those makeup everything i got it came out to three dollars and 86 cents no joke and like and i'm going to show you right now you see that total three dollars and 86 cents and that's including tax um, there was two Maybelline Peelies, which is the uh, peel off ones that they have on the display for a dollar off. I used those for two of the Maybelline mascaras. I also had um, a four dollars off of twelve dollar cosmetic purchase that came out the magic coupon machine. I love that. And then also had a five dollar beauty reward um, coupon that you get every time you spend fifty dollars at CVS. And so here is a proof of my receipt. You see all that price right there? Let me see there we go and all the amazing coupons and I use my greenback tag which is amazing every fourth purchase you get a dollar extra buck and you're just you know doing great things for the environment because you bring your own bag and save plastic bags from just trashing this 
beautiful earth of ours. So that is all, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. You can still run to CVS. I believe the sale is still going on. If you have any questions or comments, uh, post that below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.